All right, links and Zeldas, welcome back to more. Let's play Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time Master Quest. In the last episode, well, um, it was about a, about like a couple months ago. Didn't know what to do, but now I do know what to do because I uh, cheated. No, I, I, I didn't. No, shut up. I didn't cheat. You don't know anything. Okay, so what we got to do is what do we have to do? There's a thingy up there that's important. Okay, so apparently this box is really important, okay? So you take this box right here, and you go down here because I didn't know you could do this. It's amazing. So you just put the box down like a little baby taking a dump for the first time on a toilet. And then you go like this. Um, you can go through there, and I'll just take you like all around. And then you have to go everywhere. And it's not fun. That's why I didn't break the box, because it helps you get back up. So... Okay. You go over here, and then you go like, whoa! And you go like, whoa! And then you go over here, and wait. Wait. Ugh. And I fixed it! Magical happenings! You didn't even notice that. Cut. And now you notice it, because I told you. Anyways, um... You take your bow and arrow, and you go like this, and you go, uh, wait, get a little closer. Uh, so, uh, how you guys doing? I always say how you guys doing, even though, you know, you're never gonna ever get this message to me. So I'm just gonna pretend you're talking to me, and I'll be like, hey, that's great. So, um, yeah, the reason I didn't do videos on this for, for so long is because, uh, I kind of forgot. Um, you know, stupid and stuff. And actually, thanks to I am Jeebus for reminding me that I haven't played this game in like 50,000 months. So thanks, buddy. You're my new best friend. Okay. Anyway, so there is um a couple of scatellas you can get in here, but it seems they're not actually going for like a completionist, like missionist run. We're just gonna. Um, get to the boss. This is the boss right here. Yeah, this, this is the hardest boss in the world. Uh, crunch. Okay. So, yeah. There is, like, I think three or four Scatellas left in this dungeon. Um, I would go get them, but I really don't see a point because the rewards you get are pretty useless, in my opinion. I mean, I'll go back and get him if you really want me to. Just like say in the comments, "Hey, stupid, God, do this for me, or else I'll unsub." And then I'll be like, "But you're not subscribed." And I'll, you'll be like, "Oh yeah, I already unsubbed, bro." So yeah, if you want me to do those, just let me know. And yeah. Uh oh. The thing is melting, even though it was on that lava for quite some time. Guess it just gave out my face. Oh my god! Subterranean lava dragon Volvagia! Ah! Punk rocker dragon is more like it. Okay, stop this cutscene now. I, I get it. So, today's boss is Bobby Jones the dragon face. What you gotta do is you gotta hit him with your hammer and then you kinda you gotta go like that and then up you left. So that's the uh that's this boss's shtick is he'll do that and then you know. So anyways it sure took me a long time to get to this fella didn't it? It wasn't even that hard to do. So yeah. Oh uh, also um I guess this is kind of like the 200, uh, 200 episode special. Well, I guess 201st episode special, or upload, excuse me. Because, you know, hey, 200 uploads, and 200 upload was uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 video that was like 12 seconds long. Not 12 seconds, but you get the idea. You get my meaning with short compared to all the other videos I upload on this channel. I don't know who that was supposed to be. But, uh. So yeah, this guy is fun. He's like, uh, excuse me, not like, he is one of, if not the easiest boss in the game. Because, I don't know, he's, he's fun, 
He's funnier than some of the later bosses. Let me tell you, he's a lot funner. He was playing whack-a-mole with a dragon, and that's so awesome. Ah, uh, uh, whack-a-mole, you kooky dragon. It's supposed to be done with whack-a-moles, not dragons. He should be dead soon, but he's not. And you can stand on this lava for some reason. So yeah. Um, something else I wanted to say, but I keep forgetting what it is. Is I'm getting boint. I'm getting bointed by this dragon. Um, um, what was it? Come on. Let me think of something. This is so intense. You should just shut up because this is so intense. But, um, I wanted to know if you guys would like me to do more of the, uh, double commentaries. Because those are, um, those are fun. Like, I did the Smash Brothers or Mario together, uh, Let's Play Till We Die. I did a, uh, Let's Play Till We Die with my sister and that was a pretty fun one to do so maybe if you guys want to see more of that just let me know and if you don't want to then I won't do it okay I wanted to mention that because I don't really I don't know it seems like you guys didn't really like it I was like oh no ah well um good thing I had a fairy I guess see I get distracted with things I want to mention and then I die I would have killed him 10 seconds ago, but, uh, you know, I missed. So, yeah. Okay, come on. Let's get this done with. Done with. Die. No! Okay, I'm just gonna cut. If he, if he, yeah, I'm gonna cut now. Okay, we're back again. I just wanted to not wait 20 hours for him to get back in this hole. Because it was gonna be really boring and didn't wanna, you know. There we go. Okay. Uh, uh, he's dead now. I won. I, I beat him. And I didn't die. But I did die. So shut up. Oh, hey. What are you doing, you crazy mook? You crazy kookster. You're a rap scallion. He's dead. You are dead. And I am. <laughs> hey! That should. Yeah, there it is. You got a heart piece because you are so awesome! Or heart container, excuse me. Okay, let's go! Hey, it's light lavening. The lava link. Whoa, what? Oh no! <laughs> Chamber of the Sages. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate what you did. I thank you on behalf of my entire Goron race. You turned out to be a real man, just as I thought you would. By the way, I, the Wild Arudia, turned out to be the Great Sage of Fire. Isn't that funny, brother? Well, this must be what they call destiny. Nothing has made me happier than helping you seal the evil here. Yeah, we didn't even see you for more than 10 seconds. Hey, brother, take this. This is a medallion that contains the power of the fire spirits and my friendship. Uh. And here comes pointless coin number three. The red one. Maybe when I get the full collection, I can sell it on eBay. For 50 bucks. Yeah, you got the freaking of a million powers in your brain. Don't forget, now you and I are true brothers. True brothers, uh, in the hood. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, so... I believe... What we want to do now is we want to go, um... Over here. No, uh, not over there. Don't want to go that way, because we're going to go back in our... Back in the place we're just in. It's not good. It's not good at all. 
So we want to um we want to escape the lava before we burn and die. We're not because it's not gonna happen because we have the fire tunic, which uh, doesn't really make sense at all. But uh, hey, I'll go with it because it uh, it's good, it's good, very good, <laughs> or something, something like that. All right, we're gr Grand City, the Grand City. I believe we want to go somewhere. I don't remember where. Um, where do we want to go? I don't know. Where do we want to go? I don't really know. Um, I think we want to go to the... Wait, do I have the thingy my blingy? I do not. So, um, I was going to say why don't we start on the quest to get the Grand Sword, which is a very useful weapon. But, because we, um, I realized... I, I mentioned that I wanted to do um, the water temple as soon as possible and I figured you know cuz that's the best one so let's do that one right away like instantaneously so what I'm gonna do is I want to cut and when we return we will be at the um, friggin thing that we need to get to so bye okay we're back and as you can see, things are a little bit snowier than the last that were here. Something must be over awry. Because everything is all snowflakey. Who knows what would have happened. It's not like a nuclear winter happened here. Sometimes blowing the Mojave makes you wish for a nuclear winter. But, uh, you know, wait, what? What? Huh? Do -do 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 down here. Wait. Okay. What was it? You telling me I got it wrong? Huh? You telling me you mook? You mook? Oh, I see. You're telling me I did it wrong. I can't hear it very well because my headphones, they don't work sometimes. They cut out the sound like I tell you every time. It's not good for my ears. I, I think I'm deaf right now. Temporarily. So let's go. Yeah. I sniffed because I'm all Oh no! What's happened to Zora's domain? This isn't good at all. It's the opposite of good, in fact. It's bad. Bad, I tell you. Bad, I tell you. I wonder what happened. Let's go ask the king. Oh no, the king! He's dead! He died. What do we do? Ah, well. Guess we're dead now. I know. Let's go ask Lord Jabu Jabu for help. You know, that fish that ate us and water stops being frozen here for some reason. But who cares? Oh, Lord Jabu Jabu, where are you? He turned into an ice block. Oh, no. What do we do now? We're never gonna be able to fight Ganondorf without the blue medallion. How are we gonna get to the water temple? There's no way I tell you. I need to stop doing this stupid New York slash Australian accent. Australia. Australia, I tell ya. It's the munchkins. It's the munchkins, Harry. They made it to Hogwarts. But what do we do? What do we do? We're never going to beat them in time, I know. Let's call Bilbo Baggins. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. This has nothing to do with Zelda. I'm sorry. I went off on a tangent there. Talking about friggin' bananas. Okay, stop it, ninja. Okay, you basically get what I'm trying to do, so I'm gonna cut. Then we're gonna get there. Okay, um, I'm gonna uncut for a second because I found this thingy. I didn't notice it before. And here we go. You will gain an extra heart. Wait, did I get an extra heart? Or just say I gain, I'm gonna gain an extra heart. Oh! Okay.